Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft and it is update day. That's right, we're kind of going to make the server 1.21. But the last updates have been coming with a few issues. In particular, you might notice that my inventory is empty indeed. If I come around to a view that we can see uh, and come around to my little cubby hole here. I've also emptied my ender chest because we have been suffering for the past few updates. Suffering from uh, MBT data loss. So all sorts of weird things have been happening as an example example as an example uh, over here I have a bow uh, a bow with uh, fortune 3 on the bottom enchantment right there things have been messed around with and we're not gonna let that happen again or maybe I am. I'm going to store all of my actual equipment. Uh, and, you know, I've hidden it around in this corner here. This is this is my normal inventory. Complete with what? I'm very poor at the moment. I lost everything to another bug. But uh, that, that's everything that I have in my ender chest and um, inventory. But if we go out and down some stairs over this way, I keep an enchanting area. And I feel like we should make a few items. Try and fill them up with as many, uh, many different enchantments as we can. Can and just see if we can't get a few glitched very special items because I, I you know we we run a very vanilla very survival server here it's not very vanilla there are a few plugins I should I should shouldn't really like like that we've got a multi world plugin we've got a protection plugin uh, there's a, there's a few things going on so getting items that have been messed up is quite a rarity uh, I was about to go into my ender chest and get some diamonds to make stuff. Okay, looking around, I do have a few items that we can enchant. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to make a few items. I want a full set of armor um, with as many different enchantments as I can put on there. Try try and get as many different chances as we can. Uh, and some tools and uh, other things. Let, let's see what we can get to be messed with. A quick enchantment session later and of course play, paying homage to the anti-gravity cow and we've got a whole bunch of stuff to take with us through the update. I've got like, some standard protection equipment. I've also got some uh, mending and frost walker ha hats with all the different types of protection on them to make sure I've got that covered. A couple of tridents here. Um, fishing rod of course. Two types of pickaxe fortune and silk touch. Uh, unfortunately didn't have a silk touch shovel but I, I think that's pretty good to to go through the process. The process involves downloading a complete copy of the server from my provider. Th as I say, things have been going wrong and I want a complete rollback if things need to be. But once we got that, I take out all of the world files, the world, the nether, the end, put them into a program called MCA Selector. This takes, lets me trim down the chunks. It's also a handy moment to uh, have a look around the map, see where people have been exploring and where people haven't been exploring. Of course, we've got the big chunk in the middle. This is about a 2000 block radius circle. And then we've got tendrils going off in all directions as people go exploring for ancient cities, trial ruins, got the mansions out far. Yeah, people have been out exploring near and far, but any chunks that are out there that are less than five minutes old, that have less than five minutes of players being inside of them, we're going to get rid of them. I, I, I think that's a, a fair compromise. Uh, if you've not been there for more than five minutes, you've probably not done anything other than maybe a little bit of tunneling through or something like that. I, I also will go around and reset a few things such as the bastion remnants in the uh, in the nether. I'm not sure if the ancient city's got got or anything like that, but anyway once once everything has been selected, we delete all the chunks and that leaves us, well that has taken us, sorry, from 1.3 million chunks at the beginning of the process to about 1,200. Obviously all re-uploaded and ready to go play on. Minecraft 1.21, the server's updated. I've even updated my client. We've got Bobby and stuff like that up and ready to go. Prepare for disappointment. Everything's going to be exactly the same. I don't think anything's going to be changed, but we got... Riptide tried... Uh, no. No, no, they, they all look exactly the same. Oh, no, no. Well, here we are, 1.21. We are going to go look for a... Uh, look, look for a trial spawner and die horrifically to the challenge that we are massively underprepared for. Yeah, the one time I prepare. How to search for trial chambers. Step one, place bed. Step two, steal small child. Step three, sail away with the evidence. Step four, the cartography table. Step four and a half, sugar cane. Step five. A small moment of zen patience. Stage six, enforced labor. 
Stage seven, pair on the first tray, trial explorer map, beautiful. So this points to the closest one to us. Uh, it's it's at the top of the map there. Okay, that that's interesting. I am far off to the east, which means it's over that way. Uh, I worry about this being on my friend's area, but let's, let's go and have a look. Have I ever mentioned how insane a Lytra flight with a Trident during the rain is? It's absolutely immense. Is there going to be a trial spawner here? Really? Right here? I, I, I kind of disagree. Okay, well, let, let's go and have a look. It says there's one right here, so I'm going to go give it a go see i don't have my pickaxe on my on my bar what a what a silly choice to make there uh maybe i'm gonna come back with a night vision potion okay with the addition of a night vision potion and a water breathing potion this should be a lot simpler that's where we're going over there that's the hole that i went in i'm always in two minds about whether i want to fly into water or whether just to drop because if i just drop i can swim but if you fly into water you get into this weird state it's not in this room let's just let's quickly have a look around the cave uh, okay carry on down weird open area cave can i breathe i can breathe there's grass okay interesting there's a creeper well, there's two creepers but i'm not I'm not seeing anything particularly interesting there let's keep going down again uh, i don't know whether we're going to hit right on top of it whether we're going to go through the side we're down into the tough layer uh, not the tough the deep slate layers uh oh there it is there it is. All right, I'm, co I'm coming out. I'm backing out. We found one. We found one. I need to be prepared before I can go in there. Uh, and also, like, I, yeah, I'm going to have a stream and see if people want to come along. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to see how wide it was. It goes out from there. This is where the uh, water tower, where I came down, the water column where I came down. There's more on this side. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I've built myself a little shelter under... Well, I built this shelter for everyone, if I'm to be honest. We've got a respawn point over there. Actually, I do want to sleep through the night. That's good. Oh, we've got ourselves a chest full of shields. Probably the most um, important item, at least for me, that I brought along with me. The shield is very useful. Before we go down there, I want to show you this. Whoa, hello. Shields with the um, trident are a bit weird. I made, I made some ducks. I thought they were cool. Uh, we did them just to show people where... Where to go? Uh, we've got, got the orange boys that we did from town, and then obviously when you spot the ducks, <laughs> oh, I totally meant to hit that, uh, dive down underneath, and then we've got this little staging area where everybody met up, and then we uh, went down into the trial chambers tw twice, twice. But now I think it's time for me to go down with uh, you guys, and we'll go see what it's all uh, about. It's quite a, a way uh, down. Uh, thankfully, all the food, the respawn point, and the shields really do help. But you make your way down into uh, what I'm going to call like one of the... They're always terrifying. They're always terrifying. Uh, what I'm going to call one of the hallway rooms. This is this is somewhere where they um, there's little walls and stuff that come off of all sorts of areas. How did he get here? Am I in danger? Am I? I think I might be in more danger than I think I am. I'm just going to jump across here, deal with this guy. Uh, and this is essentially the trial chambers. You oh, uh, every time you deal with one wave, a new one spawns in, and then you deal with them in a the very similar manner. Okay, I'm going to clear up this area because you know we've we've all seen combat before, and it's not the most interesting, really, especially when I'm just going to sit here and let them shoot themselves a lot. Okay, so I've taken out all of the bad guys from one of these trial spawners that spawn every... Oh, look, I've done another one there and another one there. This one's given me a key, though, and these keys are very, very special. Now, it gives you the number of keys for the number of players that are fighting. Uh, because there's just one of me, it's given me one key. But it was also just one, uh, one wave of bad guys, if you will, at least, like, the first wave of bad guys. Uh, I managed to trigger that. There's a whole bunch of guys in there waiting to kill me uh, but you can see well wow, that's an ominous one there's these boxes uh, th uh, these blocks around they're called the trial vaults I was kind of hoping to find one 
Okay, that's what I'm looking for, but this is a much more intense room over here. We've got ourselves some husks, we've got ourselves some skeletons. Uh, let, let's go around and take out what we can. It really is quite deadly in here. I was kind of hoping that they'd all start... Oh, have they? Have they? Start hurting each other. How did you get up here? Who knew there were stairs? I'm in trouble. <laughs> no, I think I'm fine, but... Wow, that uh, was a bit more intense than expected. Maybe I could eat some food quickly whilst we wait for them to come back. Ooh, okay, all good. All good. So all about letting them fight each other, of course. Ooh, did you hear that? I think we have heard one of the unique enemies in the in the trial chambers. Hopefully you're around somewhere. The... the there, there, I saw them. But the uh, the never-ending float, where did I just get shot from, of skeletons is quite intense. I kind of have to go around and take out each corner first. Oh, and here he is. The breeze has come up to see me. It's, uh, it's a wind, wind-powered blaze, basically. Ooh. It's all got, all got a bit much around here, mate. All right, dealt with the skeletons, m mostly. There's a few more behind me. But the, where, where's he gone? It, the... The breeze was in here somewhere. He's opened a door. Oh, he's back there. I think he just got shot. I might be wrong, though. This, I believe, to be the same room. Look at this. We've got ourselves a key, and there he is. Okay, all right. He did indeed find his way in. I'm noticing that I'm lacking a little bit in health. I've got a re regen potion on me that I want to make use of. This will be much better than just... Oh, he's coming for me. Okay, wind charge. Nice, nice. I want to take him down quick and easy if we can. Oh, missed the third one. Turns out more attacks needed than, than I thought. And we got a breeze rod. Great. Well, we got several breeze rods. You can see we've been here before. Sea lanterns everywhere. And I've just triggered another one, haven't I? Okay, I'm going to go somewhere safer. Or at least somewhere where I'm not getting pincered by two sets of skeletons. Okay, have I dealt with all the side mobs? Who knows? I'm going to walk around and find them. Okay, other than some zombies that I don't think are part of the trial spawner, I think we've cleared this whole area out. So, other than just having a good fight, what is the point of all this? Well, I mentioned the keys beforehand. Normally, we would walk up to a trial spawner. It would open its mouth much the same way this uh, ominous trial uh, not spawner, sorry, vault uh, would do. Uh, unfortunately, because I've been here within the last, I don't know how long it takes for these to reset, or if they ever do, to be fair. Hold up, let's let's go look. After 128 other players have used it, yeah, there's not a time limit for the, for the reset, it turns out. You need to, it's got a 128 player list, and you need to get 129th player to click on here for the first player to be forgotten, and then you can cycle through the list again. That's the only way to reuse these vault spawners but i am not completely done here we have these ominous vaults here and i really need to try and get some of the goods from out of there it's the only things that i'm missing they like the gust um armor template and i think there's a banner pattern that i'm missing oh look this opens up into a cave system over here and that that's one thing i need to do and i think i could probably do it in one of these side rooms if i just go ahead and drink a uh, an ominous potion before we talk about the hard mode trial chambers the uh, ominous bottles and go and find ourselves a raid captain i feel like we can go and talk about what we got from the regular trial vaults most of it has already made its way oh the enderman always dropping bits of grass around my base i'm, I'm, I'm not about it i'm not about it i've got to tell you uh, i've already gone around and stored the vast majority of the loot uh in various places around my base it does mean that i've had to do some horrific things to think about how I'm going to extend these areas off. I hope they bring in at least three more pots in the next update. But here's the three that we got. They were just strewn around the trial spawner. You walk up, you hit them with your uh, your sword and it breaks it into the parts. Uh, we got the, the gust. I think that's this one. This one's flow, and then this one's scrape. I think that one's called scrape, uh, and that the, the nice new ones over there. If we walk uh, to the left into my equipment room over here, don't mind the endermite. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. We've got the uh, the bolt armor trim. Uh, we got that from the trial chamber, as noted up above. Came from the trial spawner, the vault spawner. Uh, I like it. It's a weird mix of uh, lines and dots. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. I might I might be upgrading some of my suits 
to that. Uh, and then, of course, we have one more thing down here. Oh, it's a long walk through my corridor of collections over here. We've got ourselves a banner room, and this is the one that we've got. Guster. Yes, Guster. Okay, loot show off done. Welcome back to the Iceway Raceway. Yes, always have trouble saying that. Uh, racetrack that we've built uh, an episode ago, I do believe. I'm over here because we've got a pillager outpost. Uh, I'm also planning out a, a little mini game to build here. But that's coming up in the future. Cheeky subscribe plug. Uh, but we are here for the raid captains the guys with the banner uh you might be like hey isn't that how bad omen works well that's how bad omen used to work it's all now a um a, a different system they will uh you're not who i'm looking for but let's uh, let's start this party going shall we there's going to be a few around if i can keep the numbers down pretty quick and then just rely on the spawn to bring me new people i also should probably keep my food updated uh, up top sorry uh i yeah so i'm going to i'm going to kill these guys until i find a pillager captain and then we'll talk about the consequences of such things Okay, here, here's one now. Here's one now. Let's have a look and see if he drops. Yes, we've got the ominous bottle. Notice I do not have bad omen. We've now got this bottle. Uh, I... Yeah, it's just a single one. So I drink it, it gives us bad omen. Now, as per normal, uh, when you have bad omen and walk into a village, a raid starts. Well, I say as per normal. There's now a 30-second cooldown. Um, you, you get 30 seconds to drink a bucket of milk and decide to uh, override the raid, which I think is pretty cool. That, that, that's a nice way of doing it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get some more levels of bad omen, but now that we have the bowl, the second effect of having bad omen is if if you're in the trial chamber it turns the trial spawners the one that spits out the bad guys uh turns them into ominous spawners which spit out even worse bad guys uh and then you can get yourself a uh, an ominous key rather than the trial key and that gives you access to the super good loot things like the mace head they call it the heavy core the heavy core but right now i'm just gonna sit around farm more bottles up oh that was a that was a high level one bad omen four Okay, and with the new day dawning, ominous bottle in hand, I'm going to go head back to the trial chamber, but first, I just want to show you guys a little something that's going down. You might remember that last time we were making this racetrack, and I'd done a few, well, I had done one of the pit lanes, Forest and Shrubbery did another, but we've had a new team move in right the way down the end here, above and beyond. I don't know whether they want me showing this off and spoiling this, but it's just so nice. Wise and uh, Ender have really come through and done some good work work here basing it upon real real um teams as you can see uh, it's it's so good I, ju I just wanted to show this off anyway as i say we are headed off to the trial chamber trial chambers mark two electric boogaloo so i now have the bad omen that we would have got from killing the uh the captain i'm also going to drink a potion of strength and a potion of regeneration probably a little premature on the regeneration uh, i've got misaligned with me to back me up but i'm going to go down first because i've got the bad omen and we want to make sure that the trial spawners spawn the you know the appropriate bad guys uh i don't know what's going to come out of these boxes like for oh 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 things are coming at me things so this was babies they're babies with armor and swords oh my gosh i'm glad that we've set this up into a, a nice manner here of course down below we're going to be getting some bogs as well but i think we should be able to just kind of survive ah it's all gone bad <laughs> i dropped all the way down i didn't want to do that in the slightest i'm gonna see if i can climb up this ladder whoa that got intense but i think i'm okay fighting from here uh what i don't have not my light is my shield those swords are terrifying absolutely terrifying bogged with diamond armor as well it's uh, rather loud rather confusing but i think i'm fine i appear to be poisoned or something i'm not sure what that new status effect is maybe i've been slimed maybe when i die more slimes come up but i think we're good for now i think misaligned is maybe um pulling a lot of the the attention oh there was a baby in the water that i just didn't see um okay i think we're all fine man that that got intense but i think we're good buddy 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 <laughs> he didn't want to fight until he really did 
Okay, there's more baby noises about, but I think we're mostly fine. I, I dislike that they just jump off the edge like that. I might have to build a little catch basin. Okay, I was kind of expecting them all to be done there. I guess we're going to have to go around and find the babies. They're, they're about somewhere. Okay, I'm just going to drop down. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going all the way down to the bottom. I, I guess that's all that we can do now. There, there must have been one down there. I'm not seeing any... There. That's the baby that I'm worried about. Okay, all good. Ow! Ah, he, he, he had the slime thing. Oh my gosh, it is very, very busy down here and I need to eat! Keep running, keep running, keep running. I probably shouldn't. I should stop. Turn my sword up. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh! And now I'm just gonna hide here for a little bit until I can get some health back. Or until a bad guy comes around the corner. Whichever happens first. Look, this guy's got... Uh, pretty kitted out, I think is what I want to say here. It's intense. It's kind of hard to remember how to speak and play at the same time. Okay, all going well so far. I really would like an ominous, uh, ominous key is what we're trying to get. The word ominous has definitely lost meaning to me at this point. i got to run away. The baby is on fire and I can't hit him. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Ooh. Okay, was that it? Ah! Brilliant. Actually, we got an ominous key down here as well, so that's good. We've got two, two because there's two of us in the trial chamber. That is amazing, and I believe Miss had picked up two more elsewise. Okay, that is, are we are we chill? Is is that this entire area? I th I think that might. Oh, that was that was that was kind of nuts. That was kind of nuts. What's the, what's the other one gonna feel like when we? Because I want to I want to go through to another room. Uh, that's yeah. Okay, so this one is done, and then just to double check visually. Oh, potatoes. Beautiful. Just exactly what I wanted. And some rotten flesh and other stuff like that. Okay, great. Uh, all right, I'm going to meet back up with Miss and we'll talk about the, the, the ominous loop. Okay, so I've only got some slime blocks on me and I suppose it would make a lot of sense to get my pickaxe out and uh, rip the trial chamber apart. But I think I'm just going to ominously make my way over this way. Okay, so this is the ominous vault. This this is where we can get some pretty nice loot from. Revolting. Uh, we've got a notch apple, an ominous bottle, some uh, emeralds, and oh, and a winch. I mean, I mean, it's not bad loot. It's definitely not bad loot, but it's not the uh, the heavy core that I'm after. Okay, we're gonna push through to the next blaze room. There are babies in there. Uh, push through to the next blaze room. Hopefully, we can deal with these. Husks? Ah, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous in here. Uh, but hopefully we can deal with these husks before going out into the... Oh, no, well, there goes that plan. Okay, so now I'd like to go around this way. What is this, clockwise, anti-clockwise? I don't know, I don't know, because the blaze spawner is on the other direction, and I don't want to trigger that one until we've taken care of some of the skeletons. Ah, oh, it got a bit dangerous. Run it back off, back off. Uh, I thought I heard... No, not the... the, the not chapel. I thought I heard the blaze, but uh, the breeze. Sorry, but I was wrong. It's just the, uh, the trial spawner makes a very similar noise. Okay, here comes the breeze, maybe? Yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, so hopefully it's going to come over this way. Uh, I don't think arrows work on it, if I remember correctly. Breeze has got, like, wind charge or whatever to blow it away. Okay, he's just hiding up there and not letting us get it, and I feel like we're going to trigger other boxes. I'm just going to do it. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm going to trigger it the worst way we possibly can. Uh, oh! Um, there was something moving and it turns out it was my ally. I keep doing that. Absolute carnage. Sometime later, the uh, the fight has definitely gone well in our favour, but oh, it feels a little overwhelming at times. I think we're good, though. I think we're good. Come, come here, you. I love this guy's attacks of throwing us away. It's a, it's a great addition to the game, but man, it makes the fight somewhat difficult. Okay, a couple of keys in hand. There's a bunch of slimes around, but I think we're good for that. Let's just go around and collect some of these loots up. Okay, I've cleared some room in my inventory, and there is another ominous vault over here. Let's get this one. I'm not sure if there's many more to be had. Slowness arrow, slowness arrow, some axe. Oh, that. What is the? What is, what is this loot? This is terrible. Okay, Miss is going to go for a trial sp a vault here, and uh, no no heavy core. we got some nice stuff, golden apple, uh, not chapel, sorry, wind charge and emeralds, but still not the heavy core that we're after. And we are running out of trial omen, though I do have enough keys now. I've got, I've got four ominous keys. Um, I'm sure I've stolen at least two of these off of Miss, so we... 
we should probably be able to find our way to another ominous trial, uh, ominous vault, without having to take on the ominous trial. But I feel like that's going to happen anyway, whether we want it to or not. And I think I've run out of trial of a uh, trial omen in that time. So now we just need to find the box whilst not fighting armor encrusted babies. Oh no, I feel so sad about that. <laughs> Okay, an unfortunate time has arisen uh, to be able to reach the next trial spawner or ominous sp uh, vault. I keep saying those wrong. But to reach the next ominous vault, I, I need some blocks. Uh, and so there we go. I've taken some blocks. I saw a ladder over here. Hey. Uh, and then we're going to try and bridge out that way. Am I able to do so? Do we have enough? Yes. Yes, I have. All right, let, let's do it. One of you, please, if we could. What do I... Oh, yeah, there we go. On the, the last one. I mean, it's going to be the last one. I'm not doing it anymore. But we've got ourselves a heavy core. Look at that. You can find this, I believe, with the breeze rod. Oh, just... Wait, wait, wait. I could use my inventory, honestly. Just look at that. This is, this is what we're after. I need someone to test it. No, no. Okay, miss, I'm going to go over there. Let's see what she gets... I should have brought a, uh, a spyglass with me. Okay, in it goes. We've got ourselves... Ooh, that's an armor trim. The Gusta armor trim. Some diamonds, wind charge, slowness arrows. I don't know what the book is. Wind burst one book. Okay, nice. That's for the mace. Hmm, if only you had a mace. <laughs> Okay, so why did I get so excited about this mace? Oh, it takes forever to pull it up. Well, you see in front of me here, we just have some standard protection for armor. Uh, you can pause the video if you wanted to make sure they were all just normal protection for armor. Uh, my glamorous assistant is going to put them all on, and then I draw your attention to the three stacks of scaffold over here. The mace is, uh, uh, like I say, an interesting weapon. Its damage scales with the amount of blocks you have fallen before before you do the attacks. Now, one of two things is going to happen when I climb to the top of this uh, this scaffold tower and drop back down. Uh, a few seconds after I jump, one of the two people online right now are going to die. <laughs> Uh, it's a beautiful view up here. A bunch of stuff has been going on, but here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, oh, I can actually see Miss at the moment. Can I? I can hit. Oh, look at that. And I got an achievement. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where, you know what? It's all a bit open-ended. I'm even thinking about making a brand new base. But I will see you then, Oh, when we're gonna do that. Bye.